life is full of twists and turns, but this time I actually do have a date. Hey everybody, Anna here. Okay, my brain is like just processing the phone call I just got. I woke up several times in the night. This happens to me when I'm in severe pain. A lot of times it'll be my arms because I'm bending my arms like this when I'm sleeping instead of, you know, having them straight out, even though having them straight out would probably hurt too. But bending my arms so my elbow starts to hurt so so, so badly, it's like searing pain. So then it wakes me up and then I have to like stretch and then my shoulder is like hurting so badly and oh my goodness, I am in so much pain today, but it's fine. I just did not get that much sleep last night. It wasn't very good sleep, but that's okay. And then I felt like I was up and going this morning because I was awake. And then I got a phone call from my surgeon's office about 10 minutes ago. I guess my surgeon prefers not to do the, like he will do this, he's gonna do this because we, this is what I want. He's, he's fabulous like that, but he really prefers not to exchange my feeding tube because he said, you know, it's functioning right now, and there are other, like, bigger things that can happen if you swap it out and do the procedure or whatever. Hello, my doctor from the Cleveland Clinic who does this all the time. This is like his life, says they swap theirs out every three to six months. It's just, it's a foreign thing in your body. <laughs> they don't last forever. Basically, the nurse is gonna send the information, so she's gonna send my case over to the radiologist, and then they'll determine whether or not they'll take me on and actually swap out my tube. I did not think it was gonna turn out like that. I didn't think it, I didn't, <sighs> but I was just like, it's infected, and she's like, yeah, you know, one doctor may say that, and then another one, and <sighs> I don't have, like, a doctor that's, like, really, really, really vouching for, like, it's definitely infected. But I guess it doesn't really matter because they're gonna review the information and then just make a decision. I need it out. I need it swapped. I don't understand why it's so difficult. I understand there are protocols. I understand I'm young. I understand they don't want to mess with something that's already working. Perhaps I should have given them more history on my infection. I'm hoping they'll look it up. I might call her back and see if they're going to do something like that. Okay, well, I feel like now I'm just stuck in limbo once again. I, <laughs> I'm waiting on another doctor. <sighs> so much waiting. So much unknown. So much relying on other people who don't it's not that they don't have your best interests in mind. It's just that they don't understand the full story of what's going on. I only have a couple doctors who who really do. And I also understand that these doc these other doctors have their specialties. I mean, this is my general surgeon, so he doesn't specialize in infections. But it's just tricky. 
Now it's in the hands of the radiology team. I talked to the nurse again. I called her back at my surgeon's office. I talked to the nurse and she said it's really out of their control as well. I guess since my tube wasn't put in by them, it was surgically placed that needed to be surgically placed. I guess it's up to this guy who's in charge of everything to do with that in the radiology department. So essentially it's all in IR's hands and we, she doesn't even know what they'll be looking at. She just talked to someone and I guess just sent over the order from my doctor, from my surgeon, so. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys. I just received the best news ever. I came up from downstairs making rice. It's cooking and I went and I checked my phone and it, someone had just left a voicemail and so I looked at the voicemail and basically IR called me back and they were like, we're looking to see if you can come in on this day or this day and I'm like, oh my word, they just sent that in and it was accepted and it looks like in a whatever week or two or something I don't even know what day it is I'll be I'll be oh my word oh my word oh, I'm so happy oh I'm so happy and I was actually thinking about it and they were saying that the surgeon put it in and I was saying yeah this my surgeon put it in but actually because my balloon had burst two times last fall and I had had multiple <clears throat> another story for another day when it burst in December a couple days before Christmas IR actually put the new one in so technically this current tube that is inside me was placed by the IR department oh my word I hope that made a difference I don't even care at this point oh my word I was like praying and I was, oh, my mom's gonna be so happy. It was like two hours of horrible anxiety. Like, is this ever actually gonna happen? Am I gonna have to live with this infection forever? It just like, that's what it felt like and I'm not gonna have to, oh my word. I mean, it's not like this is a magic fix everything, but it certainly is a huge step in the right direction. I guess I need to call my ID doctor and have her plan out the infusions for my IV antibiotics here. This, I think I'm scheduled for the 21st, which is, holy cow, that's a week from now. Oh man, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I'm so relieved. Oh, this has been a crazy day. My very good friend came over that I haven't seen in months and months and months and months and months and I don't know how long. So that was super fun. It's just incredible to catch up and spend time. We did a little makeup together and we talked and we talked a lot more. So that was a really nice end to the day. And I'm so tired, so tired. But really nice end to a really crazy day. Just in this short day was a snapshot of what I go through, what I have gone through, what I've been going through this past year, waiting, calling people, thinking that you were gonna be able to have this done and that it would have this outcome but instead they said that they had to wait on these people and that you might or might not get that and you need that to have this gone so that this part of you can get better and then they call and say that yes they are going to do it and this time I actually have a date and time so it's much more cut and dry but this past year has just been a lot of yes, no, maybe, wait, wait some more, okay, yes, okay, almost, okay, try this, 
and then wait a little bit more and then oh no no okay that's happened that was a little side road so we had to help fix that and then we can come back to this all to do with my GI system for the most part life is full of twists and turns but to be honest there aren't always a lot of just slam on the brakes and have to stop at that red light so abruptly as I have in my life the past however many years so just kind of reminded me today to be really really thankful that this time I actually do have a date and a time of day where this is going to happen and anyhow that was my day a long day full of good things and really tough things and now I'm gonna wash my makeup off and nebulize and I'm gonna crash but first I'm gonna say to you all that I will see you super soon bye